Hello and welcome to another one of my videos on 6th edition Tyranids. Today is going to be a slightly different video. I'm going to focus on the fluff in the codex. Now, I'm going to do this because I've noticed that fluff is very similar to the army rules in the codexes. People just like to complain. And they seldom compliment on things that are really good. So there's all types of videos out there on certain GW Smeghead fluff writers and how they've done stupid things in stories. But there's very few of them that actually focus on what is good storylines added to the 40K codexes. And you almost never are going to hear them. This one I'm going to talk about one of my favorite armies that I like to fight in 40K, and that is the Orcs. And in this codex has been a long, long imagined battle. And that is when Cryptman led the Tyranids into the Octarius sector. And what happens when Nids meet Orcs. And why Orcs are really the only friends of the Nids uh, in the game. That doesn't mean they party together. That just means they're the only race in the game that likes Tyranids. And I'm going to read this little snippet of fluff from the codex on what happens when Tyranids fight Orcs. It's called the War in Octarius. Cryptman had lured Hive Fleet Leviathan into the Orc-held Octarius sector in the hope that the two alien species would annihilate each other, where another race would have been terrified at the approaching swarm. The Orcs were jubilant. After all, they lived for a good fight. Only time would tell if, in the Tyranids, the orcs might finally have met their match. The first orc world of the Octarius sector to feel Leviathan's hunger was Orok. Above the orcs' settlements, thunder rumbled and skies turned from blue to black as bioships entered orbit. Weird boar psychers began to gibber in fear. Something was clawing at the back of their brains. Something with an infinite hunger focused upon the orcs like the eye of a starving predator. Then the storm broke. Millions of warrior organisms swarmed across Orok. To the orc mind, the best form of defense is to beat the enemy to death. So it was not long before tide of greenskins crashed headlong into the oncoming Tyranid swarm. Thousands of aliens of both races died in a matter of seconds as blades and fang sank home. All semblance of strategy was lost, replaced by blind fury. But the orcs' enthusiasm for war could not defeat the Tyranids' overwhelming numbers. By nightfall, every single greenskin on Orok was dead. Their bodies reconstituted and channeled back into the orbiting bioships to create yet more Tyranids. Death had come to the Octarius sector. The Wog without end. Dozens of worlds were soon crawling with Tyranids, and every time the skies darkened, the orcs' planet side would give a great roar of delight, slapping each other on the backs and grinning fiercely, as for once, the fight had come to them. The greatest battle centered on the planet of Octaria itself, heart of the orc empire. Billions of orcs and tyranids clashed over Octarius' mountainous terrain, both forces sending a near constant stream of reinforcements into a grinding war of attrition. The ground underfoot turned into a crimson mulch of spilt blood and alien ichor. It was total, unremitting, endless violence, and the orcs loved it. The battle for Octaria continued to escalate, and neither side had a shortage of numbers. 
orcs streamed in from distant sectors to join the fight of the century. And Tyranid bioships produced fresh waves of warriors as quickly as they could assimilate biomass. So it was that, as the war on Octaria raged, Leviathan was forced to seek out nearby prey worlds whose biomass could be fed into the meat grinder. Well, I hope people like that one. If you do, please let me know below and I'll read some more. If not, then this will probably be a one-of-a-kind video. So until next time, I'll see you.